Basically, the fact that we need to support each other, we need to take care of each other. We basically need to testify for each other and, again, be there to listen to each other, to, to honor one another, and to cherish one another. It is so important also to be able to talk and to be able to speak because, you see, many folks are here, they're looking at machines, they're not communicating, they're not touching the heart. They're not saying, hey, good morning, good afternoon, how's the wife, how's the lover, how's the kids? You know, and it's, and it's important that we, that we maintain that, that we maintain that communication and, 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 that, and, and that, that process, that it is, uh, it is essential. That's the, way that, that's the way humanity was programmed. We have to be together. We have to basically help each other out yeah. and give testimony, as I say, and, 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 be, and be there to, to care for each other, to love each other. And, and to laugh and cry many times for each other. It's almost one of those things we can learn from the seniors. You don't often see the seniors sitting with their face in the phone like you do younger people. So it's that reminder, just be present, be real, be a human, not a, attached to a machine. Right? Try every, every, every day what I attempt to do is basically plant a seed. To plant a seed, to say hello, to, to may I help you, and to have your eyes open because so many folks have them, have them closed, you know. Or there, there. I, 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 many times I, I'll, I walk by someone basically who is, who's ready to bump into me, and I say, I'll say, hocus focus, yeah. hocus focus. Nice. That's basically what I'll. So the seniors are a great reminder for us just to open our eyes, to be present. Yes, yes, yeah. most, most definitely, and, and to, and to care. And again, as I said, I continue to, to stress the issue of care, and the issue basically that we are there, we're here to, to, to help each other, to be attentive to each other. And it is so essential that, 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 we, that we cherish that and that we understand that and, and that we don't, we don't squander it, you know? Let's cherish that, right? Yes, indeed, my brother, indeed. So don't be so much in store for any of the sisters or how we are all We're gonna get you all the seniors any ideas advice suggestions of what we can do to reach out to support to build community and help seniors feel a part of something well probably more outreach uh, you know you walk on Castro you see a lot of single men walking looking rather aimless it, and it that may be true in, in the women population too but I especially see it with the men that you can tell they're just kind of rolling around without without a whole lot of purpose and I think that's usually loneliness mm -hmm. so as an elder yourself what what kind of advice can you give what, what can we do to better support y you as seniors you know well uh, throw yourself out at the world volunteer do things you normally wouldn't just get out there and be with people uh, sometimes it's hard but you just have to keep Throwing yourself out there 
experimenting with new things um, and and uh, and learning new things. Keep your mind active. Keep your body active. Keep your mind open. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. What can we learn from our elders? Well, I, I, the years we've spent so many more years than others in life. We know what it's like to have to be very quiet about our sexuality, uh, trying to be invisible, trying not to get noticed because because of all the negativity that's often faced by the queer community. So uh, what, what we learn is that what we've got now is something we didn't have before and uh, something that we have to keep protecting because there is the danger that people will try to curtail our freedoms. Uh, you mean just being out and being who we are? Just being yourself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, we are a minority uh, in the world, and, uh, and uh, it's very easy to, to simply close yourself away rather, th rather than face all the negativity and the otherness that we don't belong. And uh, it's, it's a constant work for us to keep throwing ourselves into our communities, just be ourselves, mm -hmm. and, and uh, try to do something good. Try to do something good. I'm seeing a pattern here where you say uh, a lot of the elders have spent their lives kind of hiding and staying closeted and trying to be more invisible, and now they're suffering from invisibility and lack of community and attention and, and companionship in their, in their elder years. Perhaps then is the solution to be more vocal, more out, more expressive and real throughout life so that people will still embrace you in the latter days? Yes. Any validity to that? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, because uh, uh, so much of the culture really doesn't recognize elders other uh, other than comic characters. And, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's very hard not to be marginalized because so much of the culture focuses more on, on youth. Uh, as opposed to past experience and wisdom and uh, and the same needs as anyone. What's the value of past experience and wisdom? Well, we hope that you'll remember it when you're faced with a similar situation and you'll remember what didn't work and what, what does. So what works? Oh, what works is uh, look before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pay attention, in other words. Yeah, yeah. Right? Focus, Assess your focus, surroundings. Focus yeah. and, and, and try to get input from people. Look for other people who you recognize for wisdom and, and, and uh, do things with the support of people you, you admire and, uh, and whose, whose wisdom you respect. come from to reach out to the seniors in particular? Uh, because uh, when my, my grandparents, you know, they were like, as they got older, people were like leaving them and not coming to visit them. And so it was kind of hard. So from there, I was like, man. Because I like when they tell me stories when they were growing up and how they came up and how we came over here to the United States and stuff like that. So it's interesting how they live their lives and how different it is from then to now. It's just like, oh my God, it was so nice to live back then, you know? How do we benefit from those stories, you know, just that engagement? Um, it just makes me feel like um, so I won't make the same mistakes that they made, you know, to be more, a little bit smarter on how to deal with people and not to do the same thing that they did, like my family did to my grandparents of leaving them alone and not coming to visit them. So that's something that when I get older, I don't want that to happen, feel lonely and, you know. Let's not ignore our seniors, right? right? Exactly. That's feels good. good. Making people feel good kind of feels good. Isn't that funny? Exactly. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's something I learned that uh, we were at the Brahma Kumaris recently, and Sister Shivani gave a talk, and it was beautiful. And she talked about whatever we give first goes through us. So we kind of get what we give. If, if I give anger, that's because I had to experience anger. If I give love, I experienced that yeah, love. What yeah. we give is what we get. Right, and that's what we need nowadays in this world, you know? Everybody's so angry all the time. They, we need to share the love so they can feel the love. They can share it to somebody else, you know, and pass it down. Maybe my, my nephews will see that, that I go visit my grandparents or, or other elderlies, and then they can go and do the same thing later on in, in their lives, you know?
It's a beautiful thing. Let's keep influencing each other to spread more love, to embrace our elders, to respect and embrace and accept everyone with love. Yes, and not forget about them, you know. I mean, they, they, they raised us and helped us the way we are, and so bring our culture back and the way they were raised. And little things that they, they like cooking, you know, it's totally different now than when they were cooking. So, But it's nice to learn how they were eating and how they were cooking, you know, and then sometimes you might put that in your own cooking, you know. So it's, it's, it's nice. It feels good to help older people, you know. It's wonderful. It feels good. Speaking of feeling good, we love to rap with a hug. I hope that next year you come back to me and you say, ha, ha, ha. You said it was a one-time thing, but now we're doing it every single year.